let's learn how to create a dynamic line chart that operates like this. The very first task at hand is to drop a line chart. Select the header and the very first row on your data set and you go insert a line chart. After that, resize and reposition a line chart like this. And after that, the next task is to define a few names. Go to formula, define names. The first name we're going to define will be the row, which identifies the currently selected row. And after that, I'm going to apply this name only to this particular worksheet, which is our current worksheet. And the formula we're going to apply is equal to cell, open parenthesis, double quote, row, double quote, close parenthesis. And this returns a number for the row of the cell with the year. Uh, cell is selected. Click on OK. Next name I'm going to define would be the region. Region like this. Again, the scope will be the same worksheet here, 668. And then we're going to use a formula called index. And the first argument is your data set. The region is in column B. So we're just going to scope it down to B. The second argument is your row number, which you can easily get it from the name that we just defined, the row. Close parenthesis and click on OK. And the final name we're going to define would be the sales data. And then the scope again would be 668, which is the uh, current worksheet. And then the formula in here will be equal index open parenthesis. Now sales data goes from C all the way down to the very last N. So we're going to change this from instead of B, we're going to say C. And then the second argument in there would be that row again one more time. We're going to change this scope to the row, the name that we define, and we want to be exact on this one here. Click on OK. And after that, we'll be adding a macro trigger. Press Alternate F11 to launch your VBA editor. Make sure you are on your worksheet. And after that, paste this VBA subroutine. All you have to do over here is to modify this range here. My data set range is from C7 to N65. If you like a copy of this VBA, please leave a request on the comment section and I'll show you how you can get it. Go ahead and save your VBA and close your VBA editor. Now to associate the names to your line chart, select your series here. Over here, you're going to change this to region. And the last data point here, you're going to change it to sales data. And after that, press enter. Now, if you select any cells in your data set, the line chart dynamically updates to reflect the data. But it still doesn't have that oomph. Let's highlight the row where the cell is selected using the good old conditional formatting. And this is the formula you use for highlighting active cell. And select the color you want. And there you go. Job complete.